We're going to take a look at email merge using Google Sheets and Gmail where we can take a spreadsheet with information like this and a Gmail draft with codes like these and send customized emails with customization details from the spreadsheet like this. So to do that we are going to copy the sample spreadsheet, fill it in and adjust the columns as we need, write the email draft, authorize and send the email merge. To start off, we're going to use this mail merge script in Google Apps Script. It's all created for you and there's a link in here to make a copy of the sheet that's prepared with the information ready. So scroll down to the Try It section and click Make a Copy. We do want to make a copy. Once we've made a copy, we're going to check and make sure our spreadsheet details are correct. Going to File, Settings, and I'm going to adjust the location and the time zone in here as needed. and save. So coming back in here, it's telling us what we need to do in the spreadsheet. Update recipients column and add or edit or remove any other columns. So back in the spreadsheet, I need to keep the recipient column and the email sent column. The script uses these to find the email address and to put in a date and time when emails are sent. So I can't change those, but I can modify and add other columns as I need. So I'm gonna keep first name and last name and I'm going to change description to department and discount code to team. If I wanted to add any other columns, I can right click in the sheet here and I can choose to insert a column. If I wanted this to be another column here, I can do that. And if I don't need any of the columns, again, I have to keep email sent and recipient, but any other ones, if I don't need them, I can select them, right click and choose delete selected columns. And then I'm going to add in the information that I need to send. And I recommend starting off with just a few test rows before you try this on an entire data set. So I'm going to change this to information that I want to use. Okay, once I've added in my test rows, the next thing we do is go over and create a draft. And now we are at the email template and anything that we want to use from our spreadsheet. So for example, if we want to use the department or the team information, we're going to put them in double curly brackets. So I will go ahead and start a Gmail draft. So I have my Gmail draft ready here and I am going to grab any of those column headers I wanted here. For example, first name, so I can paste them right into my sheet and then just add the curly brackets around it. So now this is going to be replaced with whatever I added in each row for first name. I'll add in my message. Okay, so I wanted to grab a couple other fields from my spreadsheet. So I'm going to go over to the spreadsheet and I'm going to copy out anywhere I want to use one of those codes and I'm going to paste that in and match the style. Put curly brackets around anywhere I want to pull the value from the spreadsheet. I like to copy these just to make sure I'm doing exactly what I have in the spreadsheet. That's important. And I'll put the curly brackets around and get that all set and looking the way I want. Can add some formatting if I want bold or... All right, so finally I need to type a subject. I'm going to select that all and copy it because I'm going to need to have that saved so I can use it in the script. And it's important to know that it's going to send from your own email address and it'll be in your sent mail. You will have a copy of all of these in your sent mail. So back in our directions and now we're going to go to send the mail. So in the spreadsheet we'll see there's a custom menu called mail merge. We're going to use that to say send mails. We'll authorize the script and then we'll do that one more time to actually send the messages. So coming back to our spreadsheet, we have the mail merge menu item here. Mail merge send emails. It's going to ask me to authorize. So click continue and choose the account I want to authorize with. Look through this to see what the script can do. It can send email for me. It can manage and view my spreadsheets and it can send email as me. Those are all expected. So I'll go ahead and click allow. And then I do need to run it one more time. That was just authorization. And again, right now I just have demo data in here so I can check to make sure everything looks the way I want when I send it. So I'll mail merge, send emails. 
and this is where I need to paste in the subject line. So I'm going to right click in here and choose paste. That's the subject I copied from the draft and click OK. And now I'll have this message at the top showing me that the script is running and that will stay there so long that the script is still going. And then I see the fit script is finished and in the email sent column expand that out there I will see date timestamps of when these messages were sent right now the format of this is a little different it's day month year and the timestamp is now and remember in the beginning we set our locale and our time zone so that this shows our actual time now if you want the format of this date time to be different you can select that email sent column go to format number and choose whatever date time you want. I'm going to choose this date time option here where it's month, day, year, and then the time. And that looks the way I wanted it to. Okay, it's important to know your email sent will get a stamp regardless of whether there was a bounce back or any other issues sending an email. And so long as there is a date time or a value in this email sent column, if I were to run this script again, nothing would get sent because there aren't any rows with information and empty email sent ones. So if I go over into my email, into the sent, I will see I have these two emails here that are the information that got sent out. This first one went to Julie Test, and the second one, I can see I actually got a bounce back. So they tried to send an email to Bob, but the email address was wrong. So I did get that bounce back email. So if I wanted to try this again and correct this email address, I can make a correction to the email address and then if I remove the value in the email sent column for that row I can rerun this and put the subject back in and then it will only send the rows with the empty email sent. I'm not going to run it again just now though. So once I've done a test and everything looks the way I want I can add more information into the sheet here. Additional recipients for example and when I run it again it's only going to send the rows that have email sent empty want to modify any parts of this script, specifically if you want to change who this email comes from, who's BCC'd or CC'd, you would need to look at the modifications option. So if I click on the modifications for add BCC, CC, reply to, or from, it shows me that I can change some information in the code here to make those changes. So if you want this to come from a shared inbox or something else like that, you would need to use this modification. So if I wanted to choose a different from, for example, I have to go in into the code here. The way you do that is by going into extensions and app script. It's going to open the script in a new window here. So what I want to do is scroll down to that section here and what I'm going to do to find that is find this in the message here. So gmail app dot send email. I'm going to copy that out and in this window here I'm going to use the command F or control F to search for this row. And I can see here that these are the optional parameters I can choose to include in this. So if I want this to come from something else, I get rid of the slashes in front of this and you can see when I do that it goes from gray font to color font and then in the quotation marks I can put the email address that I want these messages to come from. This has to be an email address you have access to send messages from. Check the description for more and then it would be a different from. Similarly, if I want to copy someone or BCC someone, I can remove the slashes from before those fields and add in anyone I would like to copy. If I make changes in here, I do want to save those so those will apply the next time this runs.